More U.S. troops have been surged to assist in this war between Israel and Hamas, and even more could be deployed. I told you in several videos last week that the president sent the USS Gerald Ford aircraft carrier strike group along with a fighter jet squadron to the eastern Mediterranean Sea, not to put boots on the ground in this Israel-Hamas war, but to act as a deterrent to prevent other countries or groups from trying to jump into the fight. Well, over the weekend, the defense secretary said the president also ordered the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower carrier strike group to also move into that same region. The Pentagon said the U.S. military is being used to provide planning and intelligence support to recover the hostages being held by Hamas, and a small number of personnel is being used to augment embassy staff as they work to recover the Americans being held. The Pentagon would not confirm whether a special Marine rapid response force was being deployed to the region, but several news outlets are saying that they will be moved over to the eastern Mediterranean from where they're currently deployed near Kuwait. That force consists of about 2,000 Marines and sailors who specialize in amphibious operations, crisis response, humanitarian assistance, and special ops. The Defense Secretary also reportedly ordered about 2,000 additional troops to prepare for potential deployment to help with medical or logistical support. Now, this order, which has not yet been confirmed by the Pentagon, does not mean that the troops would definitely deploy or that they would even be served in any sort of combat role, and it's possible they would deploy somewhere other than Israel.